He's fit enough to teach martial arts, but this man, like thousands of others, thought he could get away with claiming disability benefit while working. He was caught on camera, but finding fraudsters isn't easy. And traditional methods of gathering evidence are lengthy and time-consuming. We are successful in using that information and prosecuting and bringing people to book, but there's a long process behind that. So just to be clear, please confirm how many hours a week do you currently work? The government says it's determined to catch those who are cheating the system out of £400 million every year and thinks it's found a new and better way to get at them. And the information I'm going to ask you for is need to review your claim. Enter lie detectors. A year ago they were introduced okay, in seven know, areas. Yeah, They've proved so successful, 15 more councils will be given the cash to install the equipment. This is how the lie detector works. It records the conversation and then flashes a warning up on screen if there's a significant change in the sound of the voice. Now, at the same time, operators are also making notes on whether that person is hesitating in coming up with answers or whether they sound tongue-tied or nervous. An important thing to understand is it flags up a risk in the call. It doesn't prove a fraud in itself but it's an important additional bit of tooling for us. It's expected the lie detectors will eventually be rolled out nationally. The government claims this will save taxpayers tens of millions of pounds a year. Nicola Pearson, BBC News.